Greetings animal lovers and welcome to How to Help Animals. In today's video, we're going to discuss how you can encourage hedgehogs into your garden. You might have heard that hedgehog population has decreased in the last decade. There is ongoing research on why numbers of hedgehogs are decreasing, but most lean towards the increased use of pesticides, but also increase in agriculture, roads, and badgers. If you're like me, who enjoy the company of hedgehogs and value what they do for us in the garden, I will give you my best tip to attract more or even any hedgehog into your garden and making them more welcome. So what are we waiting for? But before we start, I have a question for you. What do you call a hedgehog that doesn't eat worms? A hedgetarian. Later in the video, I will have another one for you. Stay seated. Here are nine ways you can attract hedgehogs into your garden. Number one, make your garden accessible. Think of ways you can help the hedgehog access your garden. The most common ways is to build a so-called hedgehog highway. That means you make a dedicated hole in your fence or hedge for them to go through. Make sure the gateway leads to a hedgehog-friendly place. If the hole leads to your neighbor who has a dog and uses many pesticides, please reconsider another place for your hedgehog highway. The hole should also not be towards a traffic road. Number two, make the garden environment friendly for hedgehogs. Dedicate a place in the corner for hedgehogs. They love it when it's untidy. Have a raised bed with leaves where they can hide under. When you rake the leaves in the garden, throw them in your untidy area instead of putting them on the compost. The leaves also attract insects for the hedgehogs to eat. Number three, provide the hedgehog with a house. You can either build or buy a hedgehog house. If you wish to buy an already built house, check with your local hedgehog rescue if they have any for sale. That way, you can support the saving of hedgehogs even more. Don't decorate the interior with leaves or similar. The hedgehogs want to do this themselves, so you can provide them with materials close to the house. Leaves and grass clippings are appreciated. Decorating the home is a part of their hibernation routine. Here are five things to consider when placing your hedgehog house. Put the house against a wall or fence. The entrance not facing north due to cold winds. Under or near a plant. Somewhere where you won't easily get disturbed. And leave the box where you cannot easily disturb it. Number four, give the hedgehog good food. There is a large variety of food you can give the hedgehogs. If you have a dog or a cat, you can provide them with the surplus food. Make sure there isn't any fish in the food since that isn't good for them. Chicken and turkey flavored cat food is a treat. There is also the possibility of providing them with wet dog food as long as there isn't any gravy. However, the risk of attracting other animals like rats increases. I would instead recommend giving the hedgehog some nutritious hedgehog pellets instead. The freeze-dried mealworms are a real treat for them. Be careful not to put out too much since they will eat until there's nothing left. If you place the food inside the hedgehog house, make sure to place it as far in as you can so cats cannot reach it. Number five. Provide the thirsty hedgehogs with water. The hedgehogs are extremely thirsty drinkers. They easily get dehydrated. When serving them water, make sure it's placed in a small shallow bowl that can't flip over. You should only give water, nothing else. Number six, be a friendly gardener and not use slug pellets. Stop using chemicals and slug pellets in your garden. 
Chemicals repel the hedgehogs and kill species unnecessary. Slug pellets to kill off the slugs isn't a good idea. If a hedgehog eats a slug that has eaten pellets, the risk of potentially killing the hedgehog increases dramatically since the pellets are also poisonous for the hedgehog. Number 7. Avoid and limit the use of robotic lawnmowers. There is an increase in hedgehog deaths due to robotic lawnmowers. Many owners of the lawnmowers let them roam free in the garden almost 24 7. I'm not saying you should stop using your robot lawnmowers, but instead decrease the time it's spending mowing your lawn. Between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. is a good schedule for lawnmowers to run since the hedgehogs are sleeping safely during this time. Number 8. If you're planning a bonfire, check this before. Hedgehogs love to get cozy in a good pile of leaves. The warmth and the chance of getting an underwear bug as a snack is a heaven for hedgehogs. In case you'll do a bonfire with the leaves in your garden, do this. Move the leaves to another place first. Please don't use a pitchfork since it can hurt the hedgehog. Use gloves and move a small portion of the leaves at a time to a new place. Check it thoroughly after hedgehogs. If you have the opportunity, move the pile to a raft the day before the bonfire. That way, no hedgehogs can sleep in it during the night. But also, why not do a viking burial for the bonfire on the raft? Before I give you the last tip to encourage hedgehogs, I made a promise to you at the beginning of the video. I promised you another hedgehog pun. How do hedgehogs leapfrog? Very, very carefully. Okay, now to the last tip. Number 9. Leave the last logs in the firewood pile. Storing firewood in a large pile is a great way to attract beetles and earwigs, especially the logs at the bottom. Save the wood at the bottom of the pile so that insects can move in and feed the hedgehog. You don't need a fireplace for doing this. Building a pile of logs in your garden attracts insects and increases the biodiversity in your garden. And there you have it, 9 ways to invite hedgehogs to your garden. I hope this video was somewhat entertaining and that you learned something. Before you go, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Okay, here's the last hedgehog pun. What do you get if you cross a hedgehog with a giraffe? A really long toothbrush. Bye bye!